Wouldn't it be really helpful and fun if we could see what we just typed into our password field? But how can we implement this functionality for our project? In this tutorial, we will learn how to add this toggle functionality to our password field. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to show and hide the password with the icon. Let's start with the HTML. In the HTML file, ensure that you have linked the style.css and included script.js file. First, let's create a section tag. Within this, let's create a label with a class name of input label. Similarly, let's create a div with a class input wrapper. This div element will wrap our input element and icon. For the password, we will create an input with the type password and a class for this will be input control. Let's also add a placeholder for it. We also need an icon which shows and hides the password. For the icon, we will be using the box icon. We can use its CDN link and paste it under the head tag of the HTML file. Now that we have integrated the box icon within our project, we will get the eye icon and place it after our input field. And that's it for our HTML. In the CSS file, I first imported the Poppins font from Google Fonts, added styles for a centered layout with a dark background, and styled our input label. Now, let's style the element with the class input wrapper that wraps the input field and icon. We will set its display as flex with a flex wrap set to wrap, allowing items inside a flex container to wrap onto new lines when necessary. The border will be set to white and the margin bottom to 1.5 rem. Next, we will style our input field. First, the font family will be set to Poppins with a font weight of 400 and a font size of 1 rem. Padding on all sides will be 1 rem and the color will be white. The background will be a semi-transparent light shade. Using Flex 1 1 Auto will allow the input control to grow or shrink as needed, while the width 1% property will ensure the input control adapts its size as needed. The default border will be removed, and a light border of 3px solid with a semi-transparent color will be added. Now we will target our input field when it is focused. For now we will simply remove its outline by setting it to none. Finally we will style our icon. In our HTML file, let's set the ID icon. First we will set the color to white. The padding for the top and bottom will be 1 rem, while the padding for the left and right will be 1.5 rem. We will use a semi-transparent light shade for the background. The font size will be 1.5 rem. And finally, we will set its cursor to a pointer. Next, we will move on to the main part JavaScript. To begin, we will create a variable called password field. We will use the document.querySelector method to select our input field, and we will pass the class input control as an argument for this method. Similarly, we will create a variable called icon and use the document.querySelector method to select our icon. In this case, we will be passing the id icon as an argument. Next, let's make our icon interactive. We will start by selecting the icon element and then adding an event listener for the click event. When the icon is clicked, a function will be executed. Next, we will add functionality to toggle the password visibility. We will determine the current type of the password field input. If the type is password, we'll change it to text otherwise, we'll change it back to password. We will use a ternary operator to check the current type and set the new type accordingly. To change the type attribute of the password field to the new type value, which is either text or password, we'll use the setAttribute method. Finally, We'll update the icon to reflect the visibility state of the password. For this, we'll use the class list.toggle method. The BX height class represents a closed eye icon, while the BX show class represents an icon for showing the password. When the password is visible, the BX show class is added, and when the password is hidden, 
this class is removed. Finally, we've reached the end of this tutorial where we build functionality to show or hide the password using an eye icon. I hope you've learned something valuable from this tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. For more tutorials like this, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.